Welcome back everyone, this is D. Rodriguez and we are now in the second episode of Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles. Um, so I uh, put a roof on my on my uh, little hut here just because we kept getting spiders coming inside the, the houses that was like crafting or, or doing whatever in here. Um, now I did go mining in between episodes, uh, I got a bunch of cobble, I have a bunch of copper and even iron. Actually, this iron, um, there's like a spire, see that thing right there? Uh, that has a bunch of iron, coal, I think even some gold and other stuff near the top that I didn't really get to. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of iron from there. It didn't have any copper. So for copper, I did actually go in our mine over here. I don't know if you can see it. Can we do cave layer? Yeah. So I kind of went through here. And then I went outside this, like this other side of the mountain, and I kind of went around, and then I, I, I got stuck at nighttime. So I, during nighttime, I just dug in and then came through. I found another little cave here, and uh, yeah, came through out this side. Um, but yeah, we have uh, quite a decent amount of, of copper here. So we have 11 that I just cooked up, and here we have 15 more to cook up here. Um, and I'm gonna also cook up this iron and we have a bunch of coal because uh, Yeah, they, those, those cut a bit. Can I not make this smaller? Guess not. Okay So let's see. I don't want to waste anything right now So we'll do that And uh, yeah, I also found a couple of tin uh, I only saw these two uh, I guess that they might be kind of rare or maybe I'm just too high up and uh yeah so that's pretty much what i've done so far uh i got all oh, right i got the spaghetti and these two silver coins from uh a quest where is it i don't want to claim all right now the wild hunts yeah i killed a bunch of skeletons uh so okay i can't claim it right now yeah so this gave me two silver coins and a spaghetti and it reset already so I can kill 10 more again and then I can claim it again. But yeah, I killed at least 10 skeletons and uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty fun. Also, I made some stone torches. Uh, I didn't realize that was a thing until um, I guess I was stuck in the cave at nighttime. <laughs> but yeah, that worked out. So I'm going to actually claim more stone torches, I think. These torch arrows are probably good to like um, light up an area a bit further out. I don't know how easy they are to make. Let me just check it actually. Uh, torch arrows. Or oh, just a torch and an arrow, but I don't want to waste the arrow just for that. So at least not right now. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the uh, stone torches. Well, I guess. Hmm. You know what? I, I'll get these. I'll get these. They, they might be useful. Um, And then. What else do we have here with the copper? I get two more copper out of this. And now what we need to do is make, uh, I guess, these tools. So we need a sifter, a chisel, a mortar and pestle, and a handsaw. So these should be fairly easy to make. I think I have everything. There we go, all four tools. That should complete the quest as well. There we go, perfect. So I get more oak wood, up coins, common loot bag, which could be something useful in there, I think. A pork sausage, nice. More food. And uh, some framed walls. I guess, I think these, you can just like put whatever texture you want on them. Oh, right, and I got this uh, iron pickaxe um, from, I guess, I, I don't know if it was a skeleton or sometimes you, you'll see like, some ghost weapons or, or tools just floating around. And if you hit them, they'll attack you. But if you kill them, they drop whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I got an iron pickaxe from that, which is pretty good because you can't actually make it. At least not that I can tell. Like Not, not normally, sorry. You, gotta, you need this blacksmith's workshop which uh, I'm pretty sure we are far from it. <laughs> so that's actually pretty good that we that we got this from a mob drop. Yeah, these guys here, the haunted tools. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna save it whenever we find like diamonds and stuff like that. Whenever we go actually mining. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see. We have the copper done and the iron done, and that's an achievement right there, getting iron. Let's see what else. What else we got in this quest book here? Look at some more sticks. Okay, a lot of these I could probably get pretty fast. Why does it want me to? get grass but yeah so that, that's pretty cool um now i want a place to keep these tools i can just put it in like a regular chest but i think there's actual tool racks so let's see yeah from bibliocraft i can probably make some of these so i need some slabs which should be super easy to make now uh, i'll make two of these and then iron which i have and I will put them up here for now. And that way I can just put my tools up here. And whenever I need them, I can grab them. Um, where did my, oh, right here. Looks kind of, kind of weird, but there they are. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna put this back in here. Uh, the coins, I, I'm putting them in my backpack here. Complete and wool. So it wants us to get three wool. I actually have two. And can I make string into wool? I can. Perfect. That should complete. And I get a choice reward here. I'll grab one of those just because I'm. I think in the long run, that's probably a better choice. We can, uh, oh well, too late now. Um, <laughs> I guess you can just find them out in a belt, right? Um, yeah, so I think that's it for now. A bed. Oh, I already have one. I can just break this and place it back down. There we go. And we get a uncommon loot bag. That's actually good. And some jack o' lanterns, which I can just place. I don't use them for anything, right? Apparently, a potion. That's interesting. But. That's it. Paste them here. Just cause, why not? Psst, that's uneven. They give off some light as well, which is nice. All right, so let's just open this last loot bag here. Uh, honeycomb. I don't think we need that right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it for quest right now. Um, we did quite a few of them already so we did a bunch of them down here uh, a few over here and a few up here as well but uh, what I want to do is uh, go check out a couple of things I found in between episodes here do I need to get out oops uh, why is it not showing me uh, not showing me the big map for some reason why not? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I found a village down here and another one up here. So I want to go check them out. Uh, and I also found, or well, I saw, I think was a pirate ship and that might have some stuff in it. I can't remember where that was though. Oh, right here. I think this is it. So I think what we can do is go to the Southern village first. And then pass by that pirate ship to see if there's anything there. It looks like there might be something else here that I missed. So we can go check that stuff out. Uh, let me make sure I have everything I need. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys at the village. Alright guys, I'm here at the village. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a giant? I think that is a giant. I should have brought some bones. I could have uh, grabbed this wolf here. Um, but that's fine. I'm hoping that guy doesn't attack. Um, but yeah, I'm here at the village. And let's check it out. Oh, what's this? I like this color. I guess it's just andesite cobblestone. Okay. Right, okay. So, uh, you, as you guys probably noticed, um, the textures are uh, quite different from vanilla. And that's because I am using a texture pack that's specific to this mod pack. Uh, let me just show you guys here. Uh, resource packs. 
So this is Freebie's mix. So Freebie is the mod author and he put together this uh this texture pack here or resource pack I should say um for for this mod pack. So I decided I might as well use it, right? Uh but yeah. Ooh, look look what we got here. Okay, we got some obsidian, some coal, block of copper. Oh, there's some good stuff for sure. Oh, look at that. Uh some chocolate cake. Okay, okay, that's a good start. Very good start. Uh, now, is there anything in these guys? Probably not. I should probably take these uh, bookshelves here. The alchemist. Crafting table. I'm sure I'll need the books for something eventually. I'll take those. Um, what I am going to do is put this stuff in here. Oh. oh, look, another one. Take more of these books. Alright. Um, he's a mechanic, so he gives me rest on crystals for emerald. I'm just checking if these guys have any easy trades. What's this? A portion of bounty? I don't know how to make that. Okay. So I just saw this uh, house right here is from um, Immersive Engineering. And what I like about this one is... It, ooh, this has actually different things in here. But these wooden storage crates are actually... Actually, let me see. Let me just make sure before I say anything. But... Yeah, there we go. That they should retain their storage. Yeah, perfect. This is actually good. Um, you know what? I'll put some stuff in there. I'll just dump everything in there for now. Ooh, what I find there? Fat loot, food bag. I got a blast protection one. This food might. I guess this food bag could give us some decent food. I'm gonna pick this up. It is becoming nighttime. Uh, is there a bed anywhere? I don't want these guys to turn on me. I think there might be a bed in here. No, this is wool. So I can just make a bed. Uh, steam all your stuff. Oh, I don't even have a crafting table. I should really sleep. There we go. <laughs> Made a bed. I'm sleeping. I should probably keep a bed on me, or is it like a sleeping bag? But there is a sleeping bag, but it requires that needle, which we don't have yet. I, I didn't make it. Um, that's good to know. So, uh, this has some more stuff. Do up. Keep this crafting table there. This treated wood might actually be good to grab. Or maybe not yet, but I'm assuming it's gonna it's gonna take the cold coke oven and all that stuff to make the treated wood, which it's not the greatest. Oh, I guess it's oh wait, right. You need the creosote oil to make the creosote oil. You need a coke oven, which takes a little bit of time, but it's actually not that hard to do. So it's okay. I'll just keep it here for now. If I ever do need that wood, I'll come back and get it. And here looks like we got a barrel, which is oh sorry a sto uh, storage crate, which is actually really good, and some jam, which is food. So I'll take that for sure. These guys just sell the same thing. Yeah, it looks like it. And oh, rubber trees. Yes, I'll take this for sure. So no, there's a tree tap. Oh, I guess I was saying no sapling. There's some sapling right here. Let's grab. And I can actually just use this tree tap on these guys, right? Might as well, right? They're here. So rubber, I'm sure, is going to be a big thing for machines. I might as well get that going right now, right? Here, anything else here? I think that's it. That should be good. I got some saplings. I can make my own uh, rubber tree farm back at base. Um, and ooh, I 
think under one of these pillars, oh, perfect, there is some stuff. That's actually perfect. There's a lot of loot here. Now, I did um, read that this mod pack kind of encourages you to go exploring, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So, and this is the reason why. You get quite a few good things out there just just by looting the basic things right um, now keep in mind this is an expert style uh, mod pack so you might need more than what you loot uh, for example like um, these plates or whatever they're used for a lot of items oh he's coming for me he's coming for me oh is he he looks dangerous he looks dangerous. I think he's he's mad. I'm pretty sure he's aggroing or is he hungry? Not sure what he's doing. But I don't I don't wanna fight him. I, I don't know how much health he has. I don't wanna risk it. So what I what I could do is on my bed. Put my spawn point and uh see if is he eating the villagers? Is that what he's doing? <gasps> Huh. Oh, I put away my uh my arrows here. Huh. Get that back. Huh. I don't know if he's eating the villagers or just eating like the plants and stuff. Huh. Let me see what happens here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's coming. Huh. He's coming. Seventy-two uh, hearts. So I'm kind of cheesing him, <laughs> but let's see what happens. Let's see what we get from him. He's from Ice and Fire. He's a Cyclops. Okay, so he's not a giant. He's a Cyclops, but a giant. Oh, what did he do? He grabbed me. Oh, he grabbed me. Ooh, unsafe. unsafe. <laughs> Whoa, he grabbed me. All right. There we go. <laughs> My name is nobody. Interesting. So I did die two times. Um, and uh, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> he hurts. So he grabs you and he throws you. And I got a Cyclops eye. It's a legendary weapon. Oh. Inflicts weakness. Oh, interesting. I'm like offhand. That's actually good then. Good thing I got him. <laughs> I, I stuck with it. Uh, where did I leave my bed right here? I'm gonna go to sleep because it's becoming nighttime again. Or at least I think it is. Sunset. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in the crates. But I think that's it for this village. Okay, I'm at I'm at the pirate ship now. Um. I accidentally ate, well not accidentally, I ate one of those jelly things because I needed food and it looks like it gave me blindness but also haste which is interesting. Um, I see a creeper in the map, I think that might be underground. Oh yeah, so this is the pirate ship, looks like it's in the middle of a swamp, maybe got stuck there. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if there's any enemies in here or not, I don't see anything on the map right now. Let's get in there, oh! I hear them. Okay, so there, there's definitely guys in here somewhere. Uh, getting hurt apparently. These barrels. Okay. Oh, nice! I can break them. Oh, I got diamond helmet. Oh, very nice. I'll take it. Another diamond. A majestic ingot. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay, that's dangerous. Uh, what did I do my bed? Oh, wow, what's that? He withered me and put me on fire. That's insane. Uh, okay. This is dangerous. <laughs> oh, more of these. That. Uh, let me go put some stuff away. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they keep spawning, so I don't think I can kill them all right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is probably oh, I need space for the boxes. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna head back and then uh, get prepared. Probably get some more armor, get a chest plate and a and some pants, and maybe try to fight them. But I need space for these guys here. What can I get rid of? I'm sure I have junk here that I don't need. I also, you know what? I think I saw diamonds in here and iron. I can put that in my backpack, right? So, so I think that's enough. Do I have three? Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, I can leave this bed here. And also, there's an easy way to get back home. And that's by doing slash home. So, this takes five seconds. I don't think it uses up any experience. Yeah, I don't think so. I thought it did because of the quest. But... Looks like it doesn't. Um, I'm gonna put these guys not, not there. Here. This is a lot of loot here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is gonna take some time and sort this out, and then we'll be back and see where where we stand here. All right, guys. So I organized all the stuff that I had, even the stuff in my backpack. Um, so. With the the small storage crate here, I decided I I'm gonna put the ores and stuff like that. Um, anything that I find here. Actually, I think there's a couple more. Yeah, this stuff I should probably put in here. Um, these uh plates and like crystals and things like that. I'm gonna put in here, and then I dedicated this box here for like blocks, like building blocks, things um of that sort. Uh, for example, like the stone, wood, things like that. And up here, I separated the uh, the plants and seeds and the actual food because we got a bunch of more food now. Um, and then this chest is empty right now. This is just random stuff down here. And here I have mob drops and weapons and stuff like that. Uh, I could probably put like, this in there as well. I also found this uh, copper pickaxe head. Which is from Tinker's Construct, which is probably something we should look into. Um, but I think we gotta continue with the first time before we do that. Oh, we gotta, I just realized we got a regular bucket. That's actually good. That's gonna be very useful. Uh, one of the quests was make, asking us to make a clay bucket, which means that I'm assuming to make a regular bucket is not as simple as three iron. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So apparently you need a rolling machine with five iron or a blacksmith or blacksmith's workshop with uh, three iron plates, which would be six iron plus an iron rod. Yeah, so I think we got lucky that we got that iron bucket. That's actually going to be very useful. Um, I also have a one loot bag here and it looks like I got some potatoes, buttered potatoes, a couple slimes and sticks, which I'm going to dump in here. So that, that was quite an adventure. Uh, we died a couple times to the Cyclops over here. Uh, I'm going to actually just clear those those deaths. Um, oh yeah, that's what, three deaths now? Uh, this tower didn't really have much. Uh, and then the pirate ship, there's still some loot in there. Oh no, no, I think I got all the loot. At least the, the loot that I found. But there's definitely still some zombies in there. I want to maybe clear that out one day. And um, oh, I forgot to check out this guy over here. But yeah, clear, clear out the zombies, see if there's any other loot that I missed. But yeah, what a loot run as well. Look at all the stuff that we got. Pretty much all of this, ex except for like most of the iron and most of the copper and the coal, is from the loot. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Um, now, again, I'm pretty sure this is nothing compared to what we're going to need. But it's definitely a good start. We got a, cup a couple uh, copper blocks. I was going to say iron blocks, but that's copper blocks, which is actually good. And I think one of the quests wanted us to make some copper tools, right? So I think we can actually do that now. Um, what exactly tools did it want us to do? Oh, right. And I got I found a black lotus. I found a few of them, actually. Uh, so I got I got that. There's that reward there. Uh, we got the shears. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm getting off track right now. Let me see. This guy right here. So I need copper pickaxe, copper shovel, copper sword. 
I'm wondering if it's even worth using them. Um, just because I guess the sword maybe. No, this is still stronger. Yeah, the AIOT is still stronger. So I might just actually keep this over here. It looks like I can smelt them back into copper with the tinkers later on. So I might just do that after. Um, but yeah, we even, I forgot, we even got a diamond helmet, an iron boots, and that's another extra diamond helmet, which is nice. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> it wants us to make some rice dough. Okay. We can do that. We have some rice. How do you make rice dough? Rice dough. So potatoes and rice in mortar pestle. Does that give me one? Okay, it does. So I need four of these guys. And four potatoes, which we have a bunch from the village. Um, so I'll get that prepped up. Uh, what else do we need here? We need a clay bucket I can do as well. A smiley cloud. And uh, what else do we need? A clay plates. So we need clay and this silicone stuff. So I think we need some of the sand it was for the silicone. Uh, clay, we're going to need a bunch. Add the bucket. We got that. So I might have to go find some clay to finish that off. But um, we, what else we can do? The smiley thing. Smiley cloud. Hey. <laughs> All right. I remember what I, what I had last time. There we go. That's better. Um. Okay, and then what else was it that I was going to make? Right, I need the mortar pestle. And I will make some rice dough. That should be a quest as well. So that's three quests done. We can get some chili pepper, some beans, garlic, or potato bag. Uh, what do we got? So we have potatoes already. We don't have any of the other ones. Oh, we have the chili pepper. Well, that's rustic. I don't know if it's the same. But I guess we can go with any of the other two. The garlic. I'm going to guess garlic is going to be a, a useful one, right? First bucket. I get a free water bucket. And here I get a choice reward from wool, cookies, or a cake. I'll take a cake, because why not? And then raw rice bread. Okay, interesting. Now how do I make, I'm gonna guess from this guy. Okay, so I put two of them together. I make raw rice bread. And this is interesting. I can make slime balls out of them as well. Rice slime ball. <laughs> so I need those. I want them to make two, okay. And then it wants us to cook them. Yep, I figured. All right, guys. So I was just looking at the time on the episode. I think that is going to be it for me. Um, we did quite a bit today. Uh, I, I think this might be a little longer episode than usual, um, but... Yeah, we did a lot of the bottom quests here, a lot of the top quests here, and even the middle quests. We did quite a lot. And along, alongside with that, uh, we did that little uh, exploration mission that we did. And we died a couple times with the Cyclops. Um, but yeah, that was definitely fun. Uh, I think we got a good good starting uh, gear at least now um, to work with. And uh, hopefully in the next episode, we can start getting some, some better things and continuing with the quests here, right? um but yeah i think that's gonna be it if you liked if you enjoyed please leave a like please subscribe that helps me out a lot and uh yeah have a great day guys